Welcome, Eurovision fans. Well, it's time for Azerbaijan, and I'm always very excited to see Azerbaijan. For those of you who don't know, I'll keep this brief because some of you already know the story. I found Eurovision in 2015, that's the year I started watching, and it was because I randomly clicked a song that looked interesting, which was Sephora's Drip Drop from 2010. Listen to that, and I was like, ah, that's on just another level. Beautiful music. I love that. And so I checked it out, and the Eurovision Song Contest was just around the corner. So I think I found the video in February or March, because about half the songs were out already. And ever since I've been hooked on the contest, and, you know, huge fan of the contest, so I always credit Azerbaijan with bringing me into the contest and uh, really expanding my world music knowledge a little bit. I'm still learning, a lot to learn. Uh, still a beginner, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, I've been making videos now. This is my fourth year doing this. This is only my first year, uh, well, second year now, making reaction videos. So uh, I'm continually trying to improve and mold my craft here and do better. Um, and But I always just have that appreciation and love for Azerbaijan for showing me the way here in the contest. So, <laughs> okay, let's see... Effendi with Cleopatra. Cleopatra was a queen like me, just like me, just like me. Straight again or in between. I love the sounds here. And I love the epic sound there. Very interesting. <laughs> I think this is going to be a lot of fun on the Eurovision stage. Verbo in the woods. I've got a spacious screened in porch. Very interesting song. Again, I think Azerbaijan has a very good chance to get top 10 with this. Uh, yeah, 
very, very interesting. And I know I'm saying interesting like I'm thinking, I'm not thinking anything negative. I really, really think that's a lot of fun. Um, I, it, personal life story here, I used to be a historian. And uh, yeah, we covered Cleopatra quite a bit. So I was just thinking about her life. She really lived a fascinating life. So it's kind of cool to incorporate Cleopatra into the song. And uh, yeah, she really uh, was, if you're thinking Game of Thrones, she really played the Game of Thrones very well back in the day. There's so many stories and legends and myths. She really uh, was a respectable, powerful person of her time. And uh, nobody can ever take that away from her. So I and enjoy that they incorporated Cleopatra into a song for Eurovision and you know I talked about how powerful she was and um, she was like the ultimate seductress but also known for her wit and strength and just being able to figure her way out of really tough spots there are very few in history that had to navigate the same thing she did and yeah she made some blunders i like in the the fact in the song they said she was her own worst enemy and that was true i mean <laughs> a lot of the problems she had she uh she got herself into a pickle and then she'd get herself out of it so between uh yeah, julius caesar and uh mark antony she uh she was able to navigate a relationship with rome and uh also having problems in Egypt and uh, her family I, if I remember correctly they were Macedonian and they were the rulers of Egypt at the time and there were just all these obstacles that she had to go through and and so her life is one of the most fascinating and uh, <laughs> my teacher we went to the Chicago Field Museum to go see a Cleopatra exhibit and uh, it was closed, so my teacher, and this was one of the best teachers I ever had, Mrs. Fenwick, she was just amazing. She's like, well, this is what we came here for. We're going to arrange to go on another field trip next week and go back and actually make this happen. So she gave us two field trips in a week because we wanted to go see. We were learning about Cleopatra. Uh, they had all these artifacts on display, so she made sure we got to go and see them and everything because... Uh, just a, a very, very, very unique and special historical figure, <laughs> for good or for bad. It, it, it's a modern day lesson because the winners write history as in, in wars and such. And so like the Romans wrote that she was this horrible, terrible, evil person, you know, seducing the uh, and corrupting the mind of the, the Caesar. And then there's this other side of history that probably would have written had she won the war with Mark Antony and they had actually uh, won the war. My, my details are a little foggy, but had she actually come out victorious, there would have been a whole different narrative. There was one narrative that uh, Cleopatra would take a different lover into her bed every night and kill them and you'd never see him again, which proved to be pretty false and ridiculous even you know, the winners writing history thing. Then there were others that she was like the epitome of beauty for her time, coming out with all different sorts of products and, and things like that. Um, she was a leader and a celebrity and all of the above. And uh, really, uh, really cool to incorporate that into a song. I'm definitely rambling, but <laughs> Azerbaijan, again, sends one of the most absolutely beautiful women that in the contest, uh, just absolutely great singer, great entertainer. Uh, we'll see about the dance dancers. I think this is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very visual. They're going to have a lot of special effects probably, but uh, the dance troupe should be very interesting if they keep it similar and straight up to the music video. Uh, Azerbaijan, again, quality song. It's different. It sticks out. We're getting a lot more dance type songs now that I'm getting further in, but this one really sticks out in a very good way, a good positive way. I think this is gonna do quite well, and I don't know, um, we'll have to see. Uh, sorry for the long mind about rant. Uh, I think what's gonna happen is some people might be a little off put by the Cleopatra thing they do in the 
uh, there's going to be people making fun of that at first, but I think people are going to definitely get into it more. Uh, I think first listen, a lot of people are going to absolutely love this, but I think even more people are going to get into it as the time goes, and it should have good momentum to push it up higher on the list. Oh, this is definitely going to qualify. There's no doubt in my mind. As long as she's a capable live performer and can sing and dance, sometimes we've seen that fall apart at Eurovision. But no, I think this is an excellent, excellent entry by Azerbaijan, a lot of fun, and might end up pretty high on my list. I don't know. We'll have to see. Usually I don't get into the dance songs as much, but I love the ethnic sound here, and I love... There's so many elements of music that I really enjoy about this. So, yeah, great job, Azerbaijan. I really enjoy that. So, uh, what do you think? Do you like the song? Love the song? Dislike? All opinions are valid here. I respect anybody that will give their thoughts in a constructive way. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Azerbaijan this year. I think this is a for sure qualifier, potential top 10. And a very strong entry for Azerbaijan yet again. They have quite a reputation of sending very good quality songs. And I love Azerbaijan every year. If I do this mathematical equation, I believe Azerbaijan will get top three for countries on average ranking per year on my list. So we'll see. Love Chingis last year. He got into my top five. So uh, with truth, Azerbaijan did it again. So that's my opinion. Please feel free to share yours. I look forward to hearing it. And for now, Lethargic's Law, out. <laughs>